A wave of anxiety and uncertainty is sweeping across the Indian student community in the United States, the second largest international student group there after the Chinese. As they watch their peers on campus, grappling with disciplinary action, suspension, as well as arrests. But they shoulder another additional burden, the threat of visa revocation and expulsion. There is widespread concern on multiple fronts. Indian students participating in protests have been detained. Those not protesting are also in a spot with some facing a switch to online classes for some time. Watch out, this van's backing up, guys. Right, joining us for further clarity, Sudhanshu Kaushik at the moment, who's the founder of the North American Association of Indian Students. Sudhanshu joins us live from New York at the moment. Thanks, Sudhanshu. You know, we are hearing that many Indian students are torn between diving headfirst into the pro-Palestinian movement on campus and the weight of what's at stake. Is that the ground reality? Hi, Parishma. Thank you so much for having me. Um, absolutely. Uh, I think that international students, uh, specifically Indian international students on F1 visas, are always in a precarious situation. Um, it's not just a decision for them to join ethically and morally protest on campus. It's about, uh, you know, what are the repercussions and repercussions that uh, stand larger than just being arrested or being detained by the police, uh, there's another variable at play. And I think this time around, during the protests against uh, and for uh, the Palestinian occupation on both sides, actually, um, there's, there's another layer added to it. Uh, we saw protests happen before. Uh, if you remember during 2020, during the height of COVID, the Black Lives Matter movement yes. really picked at U.S. universities and colleges and campuses. And this kind of concern was there already. Uh, we were in the neck deep of that because students wanted to, especially international students from India, wanted to express solidarity with the Black Lives Matter movement, but they weren't, or fear, they were fearful of, you know, taking part, visibly being at the protest offline, online, because of the fear of the student's visa uh, kind of being uh, revoked. Um, at that time, I think the fear was a little bit misplaced uh, because universities actively were not targeting students. They weren't arresting them, especially not on campus. Um, you had very few reports of students who were protesting peacefully uh, and in line that were arrested. Absolutely not. Even during you know a, a pandemic scare that was going on, schools mostly were shut. In this case, what we're seeing is is kind of interesting, a little bit fearful is that students are, are, are being proactively targeted uh, and arrested, regardless of if the protest becomes uh, kind of violent or not, harmful or not. In fact, some uh, students are also complaining that an expulsion or a detention would have an impact on the F1 visa of any international student. But Sudhanshu, many students who are in the US, they believe that whatever their politics, joining the protest on any side opens them up to consequences like you are highlighting especially given their financial dependence on loans or, let's say, aid from the university. Right. I mean, it, it's, it's a concern for all international students. As the past five, six years have so shown that international students now are one of the largest uh, student international student demographics, uh, most of them whom, by the way, do come on loans and external sources rather than scholarship and funding. Um, so it is another layer of concern. And right. what I was getting to is that the concern right now is exactly what you're saying, that it's not just the fear of arrest that moves. Arrest is maybe a, a second issue. And it, while it might seem more fearful, and here's kind of the devious thing that's happening. While the arrest is a very, very intense kind of being detained situation, it does not, and I say in quotations, it does not affect your student visa at its current state as much. Uh, there are many examples where students have been arrested, but it doesn't impact their student right. visa. Right? Unless it's something that's very, very heinous and then etc. What's the concern right now is that universities are suspending students. Now, thankfully, the Department of Homeland Services has gone on record and it is said that zero suspensions of their or revocation right. of Indian students or general, anyone international student has been made. But the fact that a university is handing out suspension, many universities across America, everywhere, 
And for yes. an international student, you then have basically 21 days for then the university to report to the Department of Homeland Services. And then you have 15 right. days to leave if you A, cannot transfer to another institution, or B, you can't take a full credit course. And that is the real kind of... Uh, Grave consequences indeed, Sudhanshu, as you are highlighting. Campus disruptions due to the tension surrounding the war in Gaza have left Indian students in the U.S. and their par parents anxious. But Sudhanshu, thank you so much for joining us with an update on the ground reality. Thanks for having me.